This is 5150, first album Van Halen, Sammy Hagar, lead vocals. This is a brand new Van Halen. This is a brand new band right here. Very powerful, like a freight train coming straight at your face. I remember hearing when Eddie played that, I just went, whoa, whoa, whoa. My job was, I didn't, I didn't have a job because <laughs> I just joined the band and we, we didn't have figured out anything yet. But um, I just remember that Ed and Al would stay up all night. Mike would come over in the, early in the morning, I guess, and I'd, I'd come in around noon or whatever. And, and then we'd go till about six o'clock and it, it'd work out, you know, they just jam, jam, jam. I'd record it on a tape recorder and I'd go home and I'd write lyrics that night. I'd come back the next day and I'd do a vocal, and then we'd write another one. It was just like one at a time, I think, right? You guys yeah. had a couple ideas already. Yeah. Right? At the end of all of this, we brought in Mick Jones from Foreigner to produce yeah. it, and then he said that we, we needed one more song. We all were saying, let's get on the road. We gotta take this on the road. We gotta get on the yeah. road. So we thought, we're done with this record. And Mick's going, no, we need one more song. Mick comes to my house in Malibu, walking on the beach. He said, Eddie, play me this. I hear it, and I go, wow, that's cool. I don't want to, I don't want to sing to that. Went in the studio and I just started singing higher and higher. And everybody's going, whoa, whoa. I remember Don Landy going, whoa. You know, he regrets get... singing that high now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> but it was, that was badass. Magic. Because Pure I remember magic. Mick saying that we need that one, that one yeah. song to just round the whole album out and boom. Thank God we did that because Dreams is one of the greatest songs on this record. We didn't let anyone in the studio, uh, but just our band, right? That's and, right, yeah. And Mick Jones and the producer and Don Landy. And our manager, Ed Leffer, would come in once in a while, but Warner Brothers, nope, until it was done. And then we played them, Why Can't This Be Love, live. We didn't even play them the record. And Mo Austin and Ted Temple. Chairman of the boys. board. There you go. I smell money. Smells That's like Mo money. Austin. That's what Mo Austin said. <laughs> Boy, was he right. <laughs> so, guys, you're all very welcome for your vacations and new summer homes you bought after that the album came out. We thought we just threw them songs together. We were thinking, we did, but when we listened back, it was just magic, it was brilliant. It was just inspiration, inspiration, inspiration. And inspiration lined up with talent, and you get a record like that in 10 days. Unbelievable. Hold on, hold on.